Welcome to a brand new episode, Back Pass with Raz. This is your host, Raz, here. And on this episode, I have got a guest who was recommended by a previous guest of ours, Rafi Ali. And this person here is unassuming. He gets his job done. He's very effective on the pitch, um, if you remember, from back in the day. It's none other than Mr. Saswa Dimata Dasuki. How are you doing, Saswa? I'm good. Saras, thank you very much for inviting me to the to the show. Well, yes, the it's podcast. a pleasure. It's a pleasure. We we don't normally hear much about you, uh, what you your what you're up to uh, yeah. recently. So what what have you been uh, up to? Uh, what are you doing nowadays? Okay, currently I'm doing my own business, uh, like uh, limousine services. Okay, right? it's more like seventy uh, percent of it. Then I uh, still coaching uh, schools. It's an uh, mm. NTU. Uh, mm. Nanyang Technology University men's team and uh, I just uh, recently I give up on my uh, secondary school okay because uh, it somehow or other affected my work in the in uh. the day uh, so uh. I give up on the secondary school just recently only in, in, in July uh, so I, I'm doing with uh, NTU now uh, probably the training will be at night so it won't affect my work timing Okay, and how's business for you? Yeah, so far so good. Rising up after COVID, okay. uh, been uh, you know steadily up, and then uh, this period, uh, this September F one is coming. Yeah, right? and then uh, it will be a busy week for me. Okay, yeah. so uh, these are only um, limousine services in Singapore. That means you get you ferry uh, people from the airport to places around Singapore, or do you go uh, to Malaysia as well? Do you do cross border? Travel as well. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, most of it in Singapore, but I recently, like uh, last few months, I went to most of it like Legoland. Okay. Uh, they, they, uh, tourists or they call guests like to bring their children to Legoland, but okay. I haven't go that far to KL yet. Okay. Or to Malacca yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wish one one day, but I know it will be a bit tiring and time consuming. Uh, yeah. So I just like to focus in Singapore and uh, maybe nearby the uh, Johor only. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wish you all the best in that in your business. One Thank of you. your Thank success, you. uh, former or rather a uh, professional footballer at the moment, is it? My sons. Yeah. yeah uh, they, they, before that, they were playing with uh, Tanjung Paga. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Before Tanjung Paga, of course, they were in the National Football Academy. Mm -hmm. Right. And then after a certain uh, area that uh, I think last two years. Uh, the the contract not been renewed. Uh, one just continue with the division two, and one recently one of my son just finished NS, okay. so he continue with the division two team uh, Jungfrau FC. All right, okay. Uh, That's both a, currently still playing, yeah. Both currently, but not at the S League level. Not at S League, yeah. uh, both in the uh, yeah. Singapore Football League. Then the yes, yes, correct. Amateur League, yeah. League Singapore, correct. Right? Okay, yeah. okay. Mm. So Saswa, let's get back to your childhood. How was your childhood like? Where do you spend your growing years at uh, yes uh if you know this place uh general hospital currently oh uh, Singapore general hospital is right around Otram or around kim Tien, around tiong baru i would say more around tiong baru area okay. yes, i grew up there uh i mean i was born there also then mm. uh living in a roof top house uh zing at the you know, it's a quarters. A kampung. Kampung no, a, a kampung, like a kampung. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I grew up there at this area. And uh, that's where there's a football field, you know, okay. in, in between uh -huh. the, the village or in between the quarters. In the, around the center, there's a football field. It belongs mm -hmm. to the National University of Singapore at that time. Okay. Uh, so, it's also incorporated with the general hospital there. All right. Yeah, currently, yeah. yeah. So that's where I grew up there. And uh, my kampong days, uh, I can say that's most enjoyable as I can remember. Because until now, the friends are still intact, uh, uh, still right. contacting each other. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. where so some footballers also, like uh, if you can, if you heard of Ahmad Paijan, uh, yes. former national player, Tuaharin Paijan, and uh, uh. Abdullah Droz, some of few good players uh, played for Singapore also in the mm. national level also was mm. was uh, at that campong I would say. So I grew okay. up watching the players as an uh, as an idol I would say. And uh, of course every afternoon 
we we play football most of the time over this uh, at this at this field. So mm-hmm. I think that's where the interest started. Uh, I was more to yeah more to football. Okay, yeah. and uh, how were you in school? <laughs> of course, uh, we talk about school days. Uh, yeah, I studied in uh, Silat, Silat. One uh, Bambi school, you know, around this area. If you can remember, there's one uh, Sikh temple there. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is a Sikh temple. There, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. my yeah. primary school. Yeah, my primary okay. school there. Of course, uh, since primary three, that's where I trust. I what they call interested to join soccer. Then uh, I think after that, like it just went naturally. And uh, okay. of course, surroundings uh, also a football players around. That's mm-hmm. where the interest grew, and then uh, patient also there. Mm-hmm. Then uh, yeah. I can say after that I go to Bukit Ho Swee Secondary School. Yeah, uh, that's that's where also another um, school that you know Liman Hon. Yeah, yeah, Liman also from uh, Bukit Ho Swee Secondary School. Okay. Uh, and some former players uh play for the intermediate like Suhaimi Miswari, but now he of course he's senior than me. Also came from that school. Okay. So I think that school also produced some <laughs> good players <laughs> uh, during that yeah. time. Yeah. So that's any family I, yeah. influence in uh, football, like you know, ma- any family members of yours, your pa- your father or your uncles mm. played football. Yeah, my my father actually is a quiet type. Eh? He okay. he didn't he didn't he didn't play, but uh, he played other sports like say patakro, uh, badminton. Mm-hmm. Maybe he play a bit of football. But even to my uncle, also they are very good at other sports. Uh, okay. Badminton, I would say say patakro, but uh, because. Surrounding my surrounding is uh, you know the young boys like like to mm-hmm. play soccer and then we yeah. display it around. Uh, that's where I think uh, I look up to them lah. That time right. uh, to to more attached to soccer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you and you yeah if you my father only went for the Malaysia Cup final in Pahang. I mean in uh, Sa Alam in yeah, Pahang when you were only, playing. Yeah, yeah, only that once. Uh, okay. Time he went to watch the game. Uh, otherwise, okay. he didn't go to the stadium. Just watch at the TV, uh, and then uh, even though he didn't go to the stadium that much. All right. And uh, for yeah. yourself, do you go and watch uh, any of these matches in the past in the stadium? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, last time when I grew up, maybe about fourteen, fifteen. Right. I there's a Lion City Cup tournament. Mm. So that's where yeah. people like uh, this uh, Ahmad Pajana. Eh? He mm. he represents Singapore A. At that time, last time there's a Singapore A team and Singapore B team. But he yes. represent the Singapore A team. That's where they play at the National Stadium. And uh, of course, I came, I go and watch with their their parents. I mean, and then their brothers, siblings, they give me uh, the ticket to go mm. there and uh, to watch the game. Mm. Uh, that's why I think uh, become uh, like more what they call uh, inspired me you know to, okay, to yeah. be a footballer like that because last time when you play at the national stadium uh, or you watch at the national stadium it's a different feeling altogether full house yes full house and then yes full house and then uh, what they call by over by presence over there make you feel like uh, uh, it's a great place to be there all right yeah, at the national stadium yeah okay and outside of uh, local football you managed to watch a lot of uh Foreign football, international football, English football, in uh, back in those days. Uh, of course, that time didn't not like not as much, right? As yeah. much as you no, know, this time around, uh, what call it? Every YouTube, you can see, you can see on the media social. Yes, of mm-hmm. course, the box, TV box, whatever it is. You know? yeah. But last time only, you have to wait. Maybe on Wednesday there will be uh, what they call uh, Wembley. Road to Wembley. Road on to Wembley, Wednesday night yeah. about 10 p.m. Yeah. yeah, road to Wembley. That means the FA Cup show. Then yeah. after that, on the weekend on Sunday, there's a yeah. English league. But it's, it's not. Uh, it's not a highlight. It's a, only a highlight. It's not a yeah. full yeah. match game, you know. Yeah. And then otherwise, yeah, we go to the stadium and watch this uh, national team play or this uh, Lion City Cup, yeah. or maybe some business house that time, you know, or ah, Division yeah. One team. Yeah. Leagues, yeah. Was, was very. Was very very interesting uh, that time. Mm. Uh, mm. Very very uh, nice to watch during that time. Uh, very mm. big name players over there, you know, uh, just at Jalan Besar Stadium or maybe at uh, Fair Park Stadium, and uh, maybe some uh, Gelang Stadium, where the when I see my football, I mean watch the game over there. All right. Yeah. Any favorite club? 
<laughs> you mean the English league or Singapore league? Ah, uh, English league. English, English league, European uh. league. Any any uh, favorite clubs? Uh, uh, just beaten <laughs> last Sunday, right? Uh, just beaten oh, the team three oh. zero. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I I can feel you. I'm also a fan <laughs> of of, uh, of uh, Liverpool. No, United. United. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's a wrong question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched uh, Liverpool since nineteen. Uh, I would say late seventies. Ah, uh, okay. early early eighties. Yeah. At and, that time, uh, they were one of the best. They were the best yeah, team. They are the best. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. not only that, the best, but uh, I like to watch their football. Mm. I think they play differently from other English team. Uh, mm. They play short passing game. You know, uh. a lot of uh, what they call. Movement of the ball, short passing, and keeping possession of the game, and then of course they got good players, ah, uh, like Kenny mm-hmm. Dalglish. My, mm-hmm. of course, my favorite player, one of the okay. players that I look up to. So, yeah. Okay. So Kenny Dalglish is your all-time favorite player? Yes, until now I would say. Yeah. Until now, yeah. yeah until now. Be. Oh, your mm-hmm. first love, I guess, as a footballer. Yes, first love, yes. Yeah, of course, you're not smart or is a influential to the team. Uh. Mm. You can see the way he hold the ball, the way he you know he speak to the team. I mean, uh, during his managers, uh, managers day, uh, of course, uh, when he is, is a he did he, I think he didn't become captain, but you can see that when when he talk to the team, you know, during the mm. game or this, I uh, think is the most influential player in the team. Mm. Okay, yeah. now talk coming to your career now as a footballer, how do you first get selected to play for Singapore in the Malaysia League in those days? And if actually I had the impression that you were first called up in ninety three, but did some research, you were actually called up in nineteen ninety two. Is that right? Uh yes, you are correct. In nineteen ninety two, uh, d- during if you can remember during that time it was uh Singapore. I I played that time I was in the national service. I okay. played for the Sapsa team, uh, the Sapsa team, and then got some also current. Uh, I mean during my time there's a national player with me. Uh, we played at Jalan Besar Stadium. Mm. Uh, Gelang, wow, it was really very very strong team. Uh, Malik was there. Malik Awak, Fandi, Norhadi Shafiq. If you can remember, Razali Saad. Mm. Uh, six or seven national player over there. Yeah, yeah. yes, we lost two two one, but I think I got a very good game during that time. During that 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 day. And uh, I I knew that the uh, national coach that time Milos Kavacek, 1992. Yeah. yeah, he arrived already. I know that he knew, I knew that he arrived. And uh, I guess he was, was watching at the national stadium, uh, Jalan Besar Stadium, mm. uh, old Jalan Besar Stadium, where's the office there? I mean, uh, the 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 coach can see from the uh, window, but yeah. it's a tinted window, you know. Okay. Yeah, so he, you cannot can see, see. He can see ah, you. yes, yeah, he can, he can see us, but he cannot. Uh, we cannot see see him. But I don't, mm-hmm. I don't really care much that time because my mm-hmm. only thing that I just want to play for Safsa, mm-hmm. and then want to try to get a win. But of course, very difficult. But just to to play all out during that day. Okay. Then uh, I think I had a good game uh, mm-hmm. during that uh, that night. Then uh, after that. You know, uh, this uh, reporter uh, came to the changing room. I mm. still still remember his name is uh, Peter Ku. I think mm. Peter Ku is uh, one of the reporter. Uh, Straight time, he came to the dressing room after the game. I think I was uh, after shower, was about to change. Then uh, he said that uh, we lost Kawachek. The I think that time is Czechoslovakia. Uh, yeah, again, yes, yeah. He said he impressed with my with my performance uh, on on that yeah. night. So most likely he will call me up for the national team training. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's where the the things started. How you were spotted? Yeah, spotted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the moment where you got the call up to play for yeah. Singapore in the Malaysia Cup, what was that uh, moment like for you? Wow, <laughs> it's like a dream come true. You know, you okay. yeah, of course inside your heart you wish that one day you want to be there to don the national jersey. Right to run the national flag, yes. Uh, but it's always difficult because during that time, a lot of very very good players around you. You know, just to name a few, uh, You know, like Nazri, Ahmad, Rafi, Malik, all these. Uh, Kadir, yeah. 
and uh, some others like you know it's not going to be very easy but mm-hmm. you just try your, your best you know and yeah. then uh, and i think one of the uh, the days that i was one of the fittest players also because when okay. you play for safsa yeah <laughs> you have to be very very fit and then yeah. uh, i think i, I think i run a lot during that game and not yeah. only that uh, maybe keep the ball well you know and make mm-hmm. some assists some assists mm-hmm. you know some uh, opening up play i mm-hmm. think that's where i think uh, the coach see that my potential is there okay yep. uh-huh. and uh, your family members were they all very happy when they heard the news that you've been called up uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually they, they, they i didn't talk to them you know about this i just keep mom and then uh, suddenly my father in the morning yeah uh, he open up the berita harian lah uh, because they uh, last, last uh, time uh, you know the berita harian malay paper yeah, yeah, then yeah. he saw yeah he saw my face inside then he read through the thing and then and he came back from work he just say congratulations for being drafted to the national team ah uh, you know as uh, i think uh, he's, he, he very proud uh, okay. of uh, of me then uh, he said uh, just work hard and focus you know but uh, after that my family came to know about the news in the in the, in the i mean mm-hmm. in the straight time last time there's no facebook there's no yeah, nothing yeah, yeah, course, yeah. yeah so through word of mouth also lah from the workplace yeah. lah. i uh, think that thing uh, that time because malaysia cup was very very hot yeah. right so if i talk a bit about football you know you know everybody can can uh, you know connect each, to each other already yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure uh, about, about little news lah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and i i gotta get back to you on this as well your name your name is very mm-hmm. unique What's his origins like that what does it mean does he have a meaning uh i because this name was given to me by my uncle my, uh, my father is a uh, number three of your family right i think the number mm-hmm. fourth uncle uh, he he just said that uh came across his mind that uh this name is suitable for me uh, during okay. during that time so i did ask him is it uh, just a uh, it says indonesian name actually Indonesia, uh, right? Indonesia, yeah. Because uh, then he talked to me about this. It's, it's not a luck name, right? It's just like a uh, thing name that can uh, be good for the future, something like this. Right. Uh, right. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, which part of like Indonesia is it? Like Boyani, so no, uh, what they call Central Jawa. Central Jawa. Uh, okay. Cause my father and uh, my father got seven siblings, ah. Uh. Uh, mm. The first three was born there. Okay. Uh, okay. My, my my uncle, two uncle, and my father was born there. And then uh, the fourth one was born in Singapore. I think during the uh, what they call uh, this Japanese occupation occupation, okay. yeah, uh-huh. they came over to Singapore. Then mm-hmm. I think my father said that he was about five to six years old at that time. When mm-hmm. the pi- parents are uh, my my grandfather uh, brought them yeah. here to okay. start a new life. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right. So now go, coming back again to your career, which how old were you when you got called up the first time? Uh, I think about that time I was in the NS. 19, I think about twenty, twenty one, twenty twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, okay. yeah. But before that, I represent uh the combined school team. Okay, yeah. I would say I started, you know, in school, right? Then yeah. after that, uh, once I go to school during that primary school at that twelve years old, I represent Milo, Milo yeah. scheme. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Milo, Milo scheme, scheme yeah. Milo scheme. Yes. Uh, so the, come more and more interested. I go to this. Uh, and that during that secondary level, I was drafted into this combined school team. Mm. Yeah, to present Singapore the combined school tournament in in Bangkok, my first uh, international tournament. Okay. Yeah, uh, in Bangkok international tournament. Then uh, I also think that I had a very good tournament. You know, last time when the the coaches right were talk among the coaches that or oh, which player really perform over there, you know. Yeah, so yeah. They, I think they really started to see, to hear of me, of uh, and then to heard of me, and then uh, to start to eye for me lah. Like, this these coaches, mm. yeah. yeah. So this uh, that's where I started, and after that, uh, at that during that period also I was in the Tiong Baru United uh, okay. first division team. Mm. We had a lot of national player over there. Right? Uh, okay. uh, we former like you know the just late Asli Ibrahim, yeah, Asli Ibrahim, yeah, former rider, the the right back was there. David Lee also was there, and then uh, Abdullah No, if I can remember, Syed Sukor, Jamulin Sulaiman, 
some other players that will not only play for the national team, for the intermediate team also. Very, very strong team. Okay. And I was uh, 17 at that time. All right. Uh, then after, when I go to Bangkok, I had a good tournament. I came back. Uh, there's uh, some, after the tournament, there will be some, uh, what do you call, uh, like uh, prize uh, for the players that perform on that, on that uh, uh, tournament. Okay. So yeah. I did, I surprised that uh, the coach at uh, that time, Mr. Cikgu Sias Senan, is okay. the coach. Yeah, uh, he called my name up and said that I was the most valuable, valuable player for that team uh, during that okay. tournament. I mean, in All Singapore, right. uh, not, not yeah. the whole tournament. Yeah, so yeah. that's another proud moment uh, uh, yeah. that I received this uh, this award uh, to be, you know, to be one of the best players during this tournament. Uh, okay. I remember Tong Hai also was there inside the team. Uh, uh, inside my team and after that uh, after Bangkok in uh, April then June or July uh, then the Tiong Baru team went to Bandung I mean I uh, went to Bandung for this uh, ASEAN Cup ASEAN Club tournament I okay. think I'm the youngest to represent uh, during that uh, tournament okay. the, the ASEAN Cup there's, over there there's a KL team Kuala Lumpur uh, Malik Awa Fadi Mandi. and Kanan uh, Kanan, represent the Kuala Lumpur team. Then Indonesia team, I think, uh, what do you call? India Mitra, and then one Brunei team. Uh, yes, over there. Then, uh, of course, KL become champion. Then, uh, I think Indonesia second. We third. We beat, we beat Brunei. Hmm. And uh, we beat the Brunei team. And uh, I think I remember I scored the goal oh. uh, against against the Brunei team. In, uh, okay. International uh, goals. Uh. Yeah. In Bangkok, also, I got scored one goal. Uh during that uh, tournament. Uh, okay. So, the belief came and more, more and more. Right? Mm -hmm. Then the target now is to be inside the national team. Uh. Uh, yeah. And you got it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, when you entered the national team, because I remember in the previous episode with Rafi, he uh -huh. mentioned about, you know, young players coming in. Some of the senior players will give them tough love. Some of the senior players will be more softer and you will, be, will approach it in a more softer way, you know, put your arm around your shoulder and speak to mm. you. Um, so when you entered the dressing room, which of the senior players guided you the most? Uh, I think, yes, people like, that time we got maybe a few only of the uh, senior players. I think like David, like mm. if you can remember, Fandi and uh, Malik. And maybe I must not say very... <laughs> Very senior, only so it's only twenty five that time. 20, sorry, yeah, twenty seven at that time. Uh, and then, uh, of course, I look up into these three players: uh, Pandi, Malik, and David. And of course, Jang Jung, uh, right? Yes. Uh, who guided us. Uh, who always uh, enc encourage us. You know, give good advice. And then, uh, of course, uh, when they had time to score, they were score. You know, on the field, especially David, right? Yeah. But one thing about David. David Lee, I really admire him a lot because uh, he only shouted on the field during the game. Okay. He was shout at you like hell, you know. <laughs> and then, but after the game, he speak nothing about the game. He spoke okay. nothing about the game. Uh, that's it, really. You know, it's all over in the for game. Him. All in the game. But, you know, sometimes we sit on the middle. Okay, natural, we will talk about the game, right? Correct or not? Yeah. Really, but yeah, yeah. he don't care about the game, really. He just okay. makan. Then after that, you just go up to the hot, uh, to the room and then relax. Really. The next okay. day also, even win or draw, or lose or draw, uh, he won't talk about the game. Okay. Uh, so, but uh, Fandi, Malik, and uh, of course, Danjung, uh, a bit of Abbas, yeah. But uh, these are the players that always give us the encouragement uh, and uh, motivate us, you know, to fight uh, all the way, you know, and uh, to play hard, yeah, to work hard, all this, yeah. All right. And sometimes, play... sometimes, yeah, sometimes it does. It's not because of talking, you know, you know, yeah. not because of communicating. By the way, they work on the field, so right? example they, setting an example. example yeah. yeah, they work really, really hard. You know, like Malik, ah, uh, for example, mm. people run maybe last time they have a Cooper test all this, ah, uh, people run yeah. maybe uh eight round, but he run nine rounds, you know, okay. at, at, at the age of thirty three, Malik, ah, uh. uh. and then uh, Abbas also, uh, he. Even you can see that he didn't sleep well at night. Eh? The next <laughs> morning training, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, just sleep well at night. But in the morning training, always, uh, he's the first, you know, to finish the whatever fitness thing. Uh. 
Ya, yeah. yeah. abang. Uh, of course, Fandi always. Uh, nobody can say anything about his leadership. Ah, uh. yeah. Uh, yeah, man, man of few words, but always uh, when he talks, he mean business. Mm. Uh, okay, in your course, position uh, as well, you're uh, playing left back, left back, left wing back, right? Yes. Uh, sometimes I last time we played this formation three five two so called, you know, and mm. then uh, was, like a small like to put me on the left side. Uh, left wing back, or sometimes he put me inside as a three midfielders. You no, know? I Malik okay. and Azri, and okay. then uh, and then sometimes I man manhon switch role. Sometimes if Kade suspended, or uh, then I will go to the right, uh-huh. right wing back. Uh, I, yeah. I quite uh, I mean I can play both both sides. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that you were, you were quite you know yeah. uh, quite something like a utility player to play yes, in different yes, positions. Yeah, yes, yeah. okay. Even I I played uh, as a stopper before. As a defender before, when uh, Burhan was or uh, the late Burhan was there, Tonghai was injured, and I played in the centre with Janju, uh, mm-hmm. Kade, you know, or sometimes with Tonghai. But that's why maybe they could see me as a utility player, quite versatile in it, in a certain position. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which are the players that you got on well in the squad? The best. I mean, I'm sure you got on well with everyone, but the yeah. best, the closest friends you have in that. In that <laughs> closest friend. Yeah. Uh, I I would say that time is uh, during my time. Uh, I think Rudy very close to me. Okay. And I also quite close to Rudy. That time. Rudy Kairon. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, of course, like you said, I can get along with everyone. But mm. uh, yeah, I think I think last time is uh, Adi, Aid Iskandar, Rudy, and uh, Zakaria Awang. Okay. You know? uh, yeah. Yeah. We always like maybe not say go out together, but always we are. No, sometimes you have to, have to go for light breakfast after the training yeah. or like makan. Yeah. yeah, this this street. But we will go with everyone first. Yeah. Maybe these few players will hang out a little bit more with mm. them. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Let's talk. Po- let's talk about the on pitch matters now. So on the pitch, what were the toughest challenges you faced playing in the Malaysian league? Toughest challenge, yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, playing away. Hmm. Playing away team like uh, of course Lango and uh, Pahang and Kedah. Hmm. Yes, this team really really tough to play in the in the home ground. Yes, hmm. with the with the fans, you know, with the feel, with the the atmosphere, uh, and always very very strong team. Yeah. And uh, after the game, you definitely will be shaped if play this kind of team you know? hmm. because they see not only that they are very good very good players as Lango. Pahang, you know, Dainal was there, Dola Saleh, then uh, Mubin Mokta, uh, the, the Thailand player, what, what you call this, uh, Atapol, something like that. Uh, then uh, Selengo, of course, is, you got there, Kanten, uh, Azman Adnan, Zogbax, yeah. Uh, yeah. Zogbax, yes. yes. And Kedah, Kedah always, this, uh, the born players, eh? Kedah born players, it's very, very difficult to play, this Likin Hong, and many, many good players over there. Very yes, tough to play over there, yeah. Yeah, and mm. what were the best moments playing in the Malaysian League? Of course, uh, we won the <laughs> double. We won the double. Uh, we won the Malaysia Cup at uh, pa- uh, at uh, Sa Alam. I think that was one of the unforgettable memories uh, till now. Mm. Yeah, because people oh. still remember that team. Uh. Yes, of uh, course. Yeah, and then uh, even uh, sometimes when I go to to JB, there's an immigration. Singapore yeah. immigration custom, uh, they yeah. they can can see because they see the passport, right? Yeah. Some uh, some of them still recognize. Uh, yeah. They 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 sometimes even uh, got one or two uh, two of them uh, will ask for JC, you know. Uh, oh. <laughs> but I got got the uh, old JC, you know, can can pass to me. <laughs> I say I didn't bring. I uh, just on my way to JB, <laughs> uh, but they recognize. Uh, some sometimes when people notice you, ah, uh, mm. then you feel that oh, uh, they still remember this kind of era, lah. Uh, Yeah. And also that yeah, y'all, you guys did something special because mm. it's been 30 years now. It's yes. the first time uh, I remember. Please remember, yeah. I, I seriously, that time we don't know whether it's something special uh, because we, I think, most of the time when we go out there, we just, mm. I think the whole team, I would say, just want to give our best for the Singapore team. Uh. Mm. Uh, we we also didn't realize that we didn't carry the cup for 14 years. You know, we also like we know we knew in our head oh, for years, but that's not our target. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, we just want to get on with it. You know, because '93 we were we were disappointed. 
Yes, against yes. Kedal at uh, Madeka yeah. Stadium. Uh, we, I think we got a strong team too, but we didn't bring back the cup. Uh, yeah. Then uh, 94, we got another chance. So we don't want let this thing slip away again. Uh. So mm-hmm. everyone, I can see that the motivation level is different. Uh. Try to push forward and then to try to do something for themselves first. And then naturally we come to everyone. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And also your yourself as well personally after winning that you feel like uh, you suddenly became more popular and people started spotting you and you became more recognizable in in the streets on the streets uh, yes i think uh once you last time once you are drafted into the national team right people already talk something i don't know people already see something in you already mm-hmm. right so even before you play in the game in the national stadium or in the in any game but in the if in the jalan besar stadium where we have our training right yeah. the fans ready waiting outside for us already yeah uh okay. during the normal normal period is uh, maybe you have some fans about 100 people come for to watch the training and then uh, after the training we have shower then we have people outside waiting to get the autograph you know mm. take photo mm. take picture then with us and then some give flowers some give gift you know there's okay. like all kind of i got young girl um uh, young boys all this you know come to us and then they they want to become our friends uh. Uh-huh. then uh yeah then after that as the, the team become uh what I call uh stronger you know and they played well then we win we win Uh, matches in Jalan in uh, National Stadium, we become more popular, you know, and then uh, the crowd become more, and mm-hmm. during the training, and mm-hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken, during the pre-final before we go to Shah Alam or during, I think there's uh, maybe about 1,000 to 2,000 fans came to watch our last training. Oh, yeah, to 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 uh, Jalan old Jalan Besar Stadium. Okay, if I can remember, uh, yeah, they they oh, just want fun. to watch, yeah. That's I don't know whether I I don't know whether you were there or not. Uh, no, no, no. I wa- no. most most of the matches in those years I watched it on TV, and I I would also say the one of the reasons why I'm wearing specs is from yeah. that from those days because I would watch the TV. Oh. And I get so engrossed with what was happening on TV, I would go closer and closer to the TV. Oh. That spoiled my eyesight. So then I see I wear specs. So, ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's the fever we had in those days. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that one when she got fever. Yeah. When 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 I was about nine weekend, ten years old at time. Oh yeah, I see. But you yeah. you watch only in TV. Yeah, only on only in the TV. On TV. You know, yeah, on TV. To go to the stadium and watch. I see. Yeah. But uh, don't the parents don't bring you to the stadium to yeah, watch no, the game. Yeah, no, because yeah. unfortunately uh, my my father worked uh, shifts. I so, see. Yeah, he couldn't bring me. Yeah, uh, but you see. The standing stadium, like you know, the the whole atmosphere, yeah, yeah. is is totally. You can feel it. Uh, yeah, I can feel it watching, yeah. watching it on TV. It's totally feel. different, uh, yeah, yeah. When you line up, uh, you want to go out under the tunnel, you want to go out for mm. to the to the to the main field. You walk, mm. you really walk. Uh, you can feel that. Uh, today, I don't want to disappoint the uh, disappointed uh, what the the fans, you know, who mm. came to the stadium and watched us. Mm. Of course, at home also. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. That's so, a feeling. Uh, that's a feeling. Uh, yeah, it's great feelings. Those those were great days indeed. Yeah. Um. Okay, but this is also need to make a clear distinction here because the team that played in the Malaysian League is called the Singapore FA team because we mm. had foreign players playing mm. in that team. So there there was also of course you of course represented the Singapore national team. Correct. Games, sea games and. Other regional tournaments. I think Tiger Cup. Were you playing when the Tiger Cup started in '96? I I believe you. Yeah. Uh, at that time. '96. I didn't travel to what I call the uh, Ho Chi Minh. Ah uh, no, '96 was uh, in Singapore. Was in Singapore. And I think I was in the team. Uh, yeah. uh, '98. I was injured. Yeah. I got okay. a grand injury. Yes, right. I think I did not travel. Yes. Yeah. Uh, '96. I think I still played for the national team. '98. I did. 1993 Sea Games in Singapore. I think that one's probably something. Uh, I think some players have already spoken about it. That you know, it was some it, like a bit of a regret that they did not manage to Singapore didn't manage to at least go to the final or win it. Mm, yeah, I was. I played all the games. 
during 93 yeah. it was uh, it was uh, what they call uh, sea games eh, that I think first time to uh, in our career uh, played in in Singapore right so all yeah. very very all very very determined that you wanted to get a goal for the Singapore team you know yeah. then uh, yeah we we played all out and then uh, there's a semi final right It yeah, was two zero up, yeah, against Myanmar. I think oh, they, this year going to be our year, you know. At least you go final, lah, uh, you know. Yeah, At least yeah. you go final uh, to achieve something. Even when you go to final, you either got gold or uh, silver, you see, yeah. for the Sea Games. Yeah, so I think even that, I think the, the score is already three two. Uh, when Myanmar leading three, uh, then we I. I remember I go to the byline, I crossed back to the Steven, and then I think he equalized, eh? three mm. three to make it three three. Mm. Then, uh, then I th- I realized that oh, going this one going to be our year already, you know, because we managed to yeah. come back from from the date, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, after that, I go to the penalty shootout, you know, penalty shootout, anything can happen, you know. Yes, yes. Even the best players in the world miss the penalty. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we just regret. We don't blame anyone, but we just felt that uh, wasted, uh. If you have, you have gone to the final with the Thailand team, yeah, uh, it's going to be a wonderful, you know, memory or achievement. Mm. And what was your best memory representing the Singapore national team? I think if you talk about games, uh, a lot of games are uh, that I think mm. cannot be overturned. Uh. But yeah. I think that this team, uh, the I I the friendship, ah. Uh, The friendship that we went through every day, I mm. think that cannot be forgotten. As we're going to be forever, you know mm. this team. Yeah, because it's so many fantastic games, you know, against Kada, against Lang, or okay. we we went we went to New Zealand, right? We played yeah. the New Zealand team. I was uh, given another uh, what called man of the match during that tournament mm. against the New Zealand. That they call all whites, ah. Uh. Oh uh, yeah, 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 because yeah. the rugby team is all blacks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yes. yeah, I was surprised that uh, was name was called for uh, best player during that that game, okay. and I got this uh, what they call uh, champagne, is it from them? Uh, 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 award, award, uh, and then of course yeah. a bottle of champagne, uh, okay. which I gave to my coach. Uh, that time uh, was uh, Douglas Moore. Okay. Really, because I think I just had a normal game, but uh, I don't know how they they see it. <laughs> yeah. It's another yeah. unforgettable memories, ah, uh. a lot, uh, a lot of. Uh. We also yeah, played with play play. this, ah, uh, we also played with this, ah, uh, Japanese team, ah, mm. uh, Grampus Eight. Okay. Uh, Grampus I Grampus think Grampus. you know Gary we played Lincoln against ah, uh, Gary Nicker, Tottenham. We played in Nottingham Forest, all this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. a lot of good memories, ah, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, unforgettable memories. But yeah. I think the most which I can stay to my heart is about the uh, team. Camera dari, you know, the, the togetherness of the team. Yeah. yeah that's, the, that's the most important. People like, you know, from the top, even the, not only the players, but the management. Yeah? Okay. Mr. Omar Ibrahim, Mr. Kandasami, Robert Lim. Uh, before that was, you know, uh, what do you call it? Sivaji. Uh, and yes, then after yes. that, Douglas Moore. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the coaching staff, all this. Uh, mm. Yeah, very, very... Very very solid. I say the the bonding ah very very solid. Mm. Yeah, during that period. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one heart lah, one heart, and then yeah. uh, one nation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think so, that I carry us through ah. Uh, mm. Yeah. So then after that, of course, we had the unfortunate uh, incident where Singapore, I mean, Singapore pulled out from the Malaysia Cup, and then we had the dark days of the match fixing scandal that broke out. At mm-hmm. the end of the '94 campaign, got it. Yeah, and, and the S League came about in '96. So you, your first club was uh, Tiong Bahru United. It is yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How Correct. did that move come about? Uh, okay. Like I told you before, that uh, I grew up in that that area, right? And, yeah. Uh, and I represent Tiong Bahru Youth also, and then Tiong Bahru uh, Division One team. Mm. So after that. We, we go ah uh, national. We go our own ways, right? I go to the army. I play dance of sa, then I play national team. Then after that, uh, this what call we pull out or uh, we are no longer in the Malaysia Cup team. Then uh, FS said that we have to go back to the uh just choose your club that you want to go. 
and then uh, I choose my former club ah, Tiong Bahru hmm. United. Yeah. Okay. And then the coach at time was Robert Albert ah, uh. to start with. Yeah. Robert Albert. Yeah, how it goes? Uh, Rob- Sarawak coach Kedah. is it? Uh, Kedah. Kedah. He start. Kedah. He started. In, uh, he first came. He started with Kedah. Oh. Yeah. Kedah. Yeah. Sarawak was uh. Alan West. Yes. Uh, but I think after he went to Sarawak, I not I can't remember. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you played for a few S League clubs as well in your career. Yes. Uh-huh. Which which club was the closest? Is the closest to your heart? After yes, after this, I went. I went to Tampines. After the I went to Tampines, and then uh, I present after Tampines. Gomba, right? I went to Gomba. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I went to Gomba. Gomba is the closest I I played four years over there. And then okay. uh, I think if the club didn't close down, right, I will have continued until I retire. All right. Because at uh, that time I was about 33 already. Okay. I was the captain of the team also, right? Then I think the, uh, 2004, I think uh, or 2003, they, they they decided to close the club. Then I went to my last club is uh, with uh, Safsa. Hmm. Sorry, yeah, uh, Warriors, ta. I said yes, AFC. Hmm. Yeah, that why why I was say was closer because I stay around that area. Okay. During that time, we get get batu, and then uh, I got a very good teammate. Uh, mm. I would say is a uh, Jay Surachai. Uh, oh. uh, Jay Surachai, Jay Surachai, Jatu Ratapong, something like that. Yeah, correct, correct. Right, right. He played with, right. with me. Yeah, he played with me in the midfield, and very very good player. You know, simple player, very humble. But uh, amazing uh, fitness, amazing lungs. We can run whole day. Uh, and always, you know, uh, like to talk to me. You know, we, we go out together. Not only him, but with the family. You know, his his wife or my okay. wife. We're very attached to, to each other. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's that's why I think uh, we are very close at that time. Uh, yeah. Nice. And talking about players as well, who are some of the best foreign and local players you played with in the S League? Hmm. So. Yeah. I I will say during the national team a lot lah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, so, in the S League, uh, in the S League, in the S League, in the S League. Yeah. Uh, okay. One well, one well, of is that uh, Surachaya. Okay. And then uh, Balakonde. Mm. Uh, if I can remember, there's uh from Tampines. Uh, what's he's a Brazilian lah. Uh, Marco An- Marco Antonio. Uh. Oh, okay. Marco, Marco, Marco uh, Antonio. Yeah, uh, he's also very, very good player. And then uh, as a foreigner, lah. Then the uh, local, of course, people like Rafi and Nazri, mm. and then uh, who else? Uh, Stephen and uh, Tong Hai during my Tiong Bahru days. Uh. Yeah. David Lee as well, I guess was. Yes, of course. Uh, David. But was I in think Gilang? he was in. Gilang, David Lee, yeah. I think he was in Gelang. Yeah, David Lee. Yeah, he's yeah, in Gelang. When yeah. we decided to break away, right? Then maybe four or five players go to Gelang. Mm-hmm. Four, three or four players go to Tiong Bahru. Three or four players go to Sembawang. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then some other clubs, ah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the coaches, which are the coaches that you learn the most from? You're now a coach as well, so yes. which of the coaches uh, you learn the most from? Yeah, uh, diff- different coaches. A diff- different style, right? Eh? So even until now, I can still remember this uh, Milos Kavacek method of training. You know, Sivaji. Yeah. I yeah. I took here a bit and he, bit here and there uh, from them, yeah. uh, from yeah. their leadership uh, yeah. during their coaching days. Uh. Mm-hmm. So like Douglas Moore, very good motivator. You know, uh, understand the players inside out. Mm-hmm. You know, but training is like all like, normal. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he understand the players, uh, Douglas. Uh, he understand you as a person. Uh, of course, with people like Vincent Subramaniam, right? Mm. He's very uh, hard and tough. You know, very very focused on fitness. Yeah, all this. Disciplinarian. Uh, yeah, disciplinarian. Yes, and then uh, who else? Yeah, uh, Pompineng, uh, Moy Yokham. Oh yes. Yeah, uh, oh. he, he coach Gomba. Also a very good coach. Uh, mm. There's no specific, of course. This coach they got their own special, uh, what they call method uh, in dealing yes, with the yeah. players. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so I learn, in fact, from each and every one of them. 
mm. their style of coaching. Was yeah. that coach that you didn't get along with? <laughs> they don't get along. Uh. Uh. I I don't know. Maybe this coach always like to uh like a very big bit. Oh, okay. that coach very uh, yeah yeah. Uh, uh. It's really like to look, you know, to my always my fault, you know, during the training. Mm. Is I think I did okay, you know. But okay. it's normal, lah. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, that time I maybe a bit affected, ah. Uh, what uh, what he try to look at the uh, what he wants actually, uh, yeah. Mm. So yeah, but after that, I just I just go go ahead with my game, you know. Didn't listen much to instruction. Just follow my my own style of play. Yeah, maybe he is an Englishman, ah. Uh, so he need more uh, direct, ah. Uh, style uh, of play. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I like to hold ball, you know, to yeah. to what they call dominate the game, control the yeah. game a bit more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now, when you look back at your playing career. Do you have any regrets? Regrets, ah, uh? yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Only thing regrets that I did not win the S League uh, title uh, yeah. with any teams, ah. Uh. Yeah, we almost there. We go back. We almost there. Only we finished second at that time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, didn't have the S League title. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Also, because you played for some big teams as well, Tampa Bay, yes. yes. CFFP. Uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't win it, but uh, yeah. and it offers to go overseas, especially after you know, after the Malaysia Cup days. Uh, no, don't have. Yeah, oh. no, no, yeah. All right, okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, now you're coaching young kids. Is there anything that uh, you feel that maybe you were uh, you wish you were a few, you know, not a few years, but a few decades younger at that age and Manage to you know experience what they are experiencing now. Something that they have that you did not have the, in your career. Mm, yeah, as you, as you can see, right nowadays, uh, what it's very easy to get to the training ground. You know, during our days, you know, <laughs> uh, they can. Uh, but I remember I, when I played for Milo. Uh, mm. That time I was twelve years old, you know. Mm. When uh, because that time was after school, three p.m. This is the training. Mm. I after I rush back from home, I get my lunch. Then I take bus to go to the training ground. The training ground is my from home, Etiung Baru to uh, Gloucester. It's about maybe twenty to thirty minutes. Right, okay. we travel by bus. But after that, we only got maybe ten cent to go to the to take the bus. After that, we go walk back. To the to my home, okay. we got just we got cut shot, ah, uh, uh, cut shot to the Alexandra, uh. to the Lenki, you know, then uh, Bukit Merah, then walk back to home. There's the uh, Etung Baru area. That's okay. how how do you get lah uh, at time. So yeah. I think nowadays everything is accessible lah uh, to yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, of course the facilities wise, you know, uh, much better now, and then of course the boots. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they were uh, heavier in your time, right? The boots. Uh, some boots are okay. Like uh, I remember, somebody gave me this Adidas Chile, C H uh, I E L E Adidas Chile. That's the first boot I think someone gave it to me. Yeah, uh, uh, I like that boots. Uh, it's not so. It's like it's like Copa Mundial. Uh, uh, it's a Copa Mundial. Someone gave it to me. Uh, he didn't fit him, so he gave it to me. Yeah, I think the boots is okay. I would say. Hmm. But only thing that uh, the feel, you know, if you ever you ever played at Fair Park, Fair Park, you know, uh, Fair Park Pitch, Fair yeah. Park uh, Pitch, no, uh, it's 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 oh, not, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, really really when it rains, ah, uh, you see the puddle of water, you know, and when the it, muddy when it grounds. dries, uh, I have played on muddy grounds before. Yes. Yeah, muddy ground. When yeah. when it dries, ah, uh, it become worse. Because yes, I know. I remember. Bumpy, yeah, yeah. But then you yeah. have the holes in it. Yes. People play, when people play in the in the rain and yes. it's wet, you have the good, uh-huh. good marks correct, as well. Correct. So yeah, when no it bar. dries up, uh, yeah, and that's uh, yeah, there. become yeah, hardened, right? Yeah, that yeah, yeah, and when the get... ball bounces, it ball bounces and goes somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. The bounce is not natural as well. Yeah, yes, I remember. Uh, that. Mm. I think now yeah. basically there's a what they call artificial pitch. Even yeah. you play on the grass, is a small, I call level lah, uh, the playing field lah. Uh. Mm. 
Uh, mm. But last time, yeah, the, the facilities was not that fantastic. Uh. Mm. Uh, of course, the ball also. Uh, the ball, you know, it's very hard. I was, it, yeah, it was it, very hard. I yeah. remember the name of the ball is a kick off. The name of the ball, black and white. Uh, ball kick off uh, but after a few times uh, they become like uh, you know this coconut they become brown <laughs> but we still play with that uh, and then uh, yeah lah, of course the boots some some of the boots very heavy yeah. mm. uh, but I remember when I was uh, primary three we use uh, only ankle guard to mm. play only the ankle guard to play uh, because that time there's there's uh, no size for our for our boots uh. Then okay. for uh, then we have to wear the ankle guards, okay, to play football and they're during the school tournament. Okay. Nah. No shin guards lah. Uh, shin guard of course don't don't have uh. okay. We last time no need to wear shin guard. Even I think shin guard also late. I think late 80s ah uh, I would say or early 90s ah uh. yeah okay. shin guard is a uh, compulsory. Uh, okay. Before that yeah uh, see see some players ah. Uh, Yeah, uh, yeah, I see the old World Cups, yeah, the 1982 uh, and all that. Yeah, they have yeah. the socks all the way rolled down, no shin you, guards. Yeah. Yes, correct. You see, like, uh, So Chin An, uh, the Malaysian uh, captain, yeah. So Chin An, uh, uh, during that, uh, maybe that era, he don't like to pull the socks up. Always, mm-hmm. you know, can see his uh, shin and the socks already just on top of the ankle only. Around the ankle, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. During other okay. days, uh, those days, yeah. Thanks, thanks for sharing your memories. But before we go, mm. who would you want us to interview next? <laughs> who uh, you interview? Fandi Abbas Malik, really? Yeah. Yes, Fandi Abbas Fandi. Malik, Dan Nazri, Dan Rafi, uh, Dan Lee Manhon, okay. Dan and Samavira as well. That's, uh, okay. Uh, why you not go for David? I don't mind. Can can uh, you hook us up with him? Yeah, I can uh, can ask him. Uh, yeah, okay. David David Lee. I didn't see him much lately, but you know, uh, nice to hear from him also. Yeah, yeah. David. Maybe because he played for Indonesia team, he played yes, for Singapore. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, and we've David, not had a goalkeeper, yeah. so that's a that'll be another yes. interesting take. Yeah. Yes, yeah, uh, David. Yeah, uh, to hear from him, yeah. nice to see, uh, because he got a lot of experience. Uh. He, I think he played for the national team more than ten years. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try, yeah, try yeah. him. I try, yeah. I try to get his number, but uh, okay. if I can get, I will pass you. All right, uh, sure. Thank sure. you very much. And when the show is out, please share it with your friends and your family members. Uh, get them to like us as well. We've got a lot of content about football in nineties and noughties. Mm. So it's just uh, not just uh, interviews. We have other content that goes out as well. Yeah, but I thought it was today. I told some of my friends and. Uh, uh, Follow the link. Link. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. okay. So it's on Thursday. Is, yeah. yeah, it will be out on every Thursday. So what time? Every Thursday, but this episode will be out on Thursday. So check it out on Thursday. What time is that? Uh? Uh, we'll release it at 9 a.m. in the morning. 9 a.m. Oh, release yeah. it at 9 a.m. Yeah. That, that link. That link you give it to me, is it? Yes, correct. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can okay, Can Thank the link yeah. the link to the episode which will be on YouTube and Spotify will be on that link on the Facebook page that I gave you. Um, that nine a.m. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us, Aswa. I wish no you problem, Ras. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Same to you, ah. Eh? Yeah. Hey. Welcome. Nice knowing yeah. you. Yeah. You fan of Italy, eh? Yes. <laughs> well done. Eh? Are you a fan as well? <laughs> I I used to like Brazil, uh, okay, but okay. lately, uh, for Europe, Europe, uh, I think I like Spain. Uh, uh, Spain know, is the way they play. Yeah, in terms of the way they play, the way they play football, right? But mm. before that, I used to like Brazil. Mm, uh, yeah. but after that, they, know, they Brazil become, was always surely one of the most popular uh, team. Correct. And yes. I mean, in your time as well, when Brazil was really good in the eighties. Mm. You know, then 90s also they had really good players. Yes, I remember yeah. the Brazilian teams, but yeah, yeah. now now they have why yeah yeah. Yes, yes. They there's a mix of uh, European and uh, what called samba football, lah. Uh, 
So they yeah. don't know which way which way to go actually. Yeah. The, the samba <laughs> football is gone missing. There, there yeah. are a lot of people. There are a lot of people now in the Brazilian team that is more interested in uh, you know influent being influencers on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so less less on less focus on playing and enjoying mm, themselves. Less focus. Correct. Yeah. yeah. More on other yeah, stuff. More, more more on glamorous. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. More on the glamour will. Yeah. Uh, correct. Okay, Ras. Okay. All thank right. you very much. Bye. Right. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. You too. Bye bye.